So hi friends, this is Amit and you are watching my channel information and educational videos. So in this video, I will provide you a very important information related to NIT. That is all NIT fee detail here. Yeah. I will provide you the detail for all category wise and uh, that is for general EWS, OBC, SC, ST and PWD student also I will consider in the same video. So please try to watch the video till the end. And, uh, and here particularly I will talk about the tuition fee, hostel fee, mess fee, other fee that, that you need to pay at the time of admission and what are the scholarship that is the most important thing and TFW scheme that is also a most important information that you need to know because many students having, are having the information okay. that NIT fee structure is too much high. So everything I will discuss here and, and I can I tell can, you that if, if your economic background is not good then you will be getting a lots of a scholarship. Don't worry for anything. Please try to watch the video till the end. So here is the fees of NIT. So before starting this video, I would like to request you if you are first to my channel, please try to subscribe this channel so that you will get all the update the about JMN, Jay Advance, other internships, other company also in the same channel. And please try to make more subscriptions so that I will get some support from your side and I will try to make this type of video time to time so that you will not miss any type of update and information related to JMN, Jay Advance, and other internships, other company also in the same channel. So let's start this video so here. Basically, so I will talk about total fee per semester for all NIT that you need to pay. So, uh, so NIT wise, I will discuss the fee that you need to pay for general OBC and EWS candidate and SC, ST and PWD candidate what you need to pay because uh, because general OBC, EWS need to pay a separate fee and SC, ST and PWD student needs, needs to, to pay less fee. So here I will discuss. So first of all, let's talk about NIT 3G. So for NIT 3G, general OBC, EWS student needs, needs to pay 70,000 per semester, not per year, per semester. And at the time of admission, you need to pay 40,000 extra. That is all total 1,10,000 1, you need to pay at the time of admission. And there will be 30,000 per semester that is mess and hostel fee. So this is about the NIT 3G for general OBC and EWS candidate. Now let's uh, now let's talk about for SC, ST and PWD candidate. So you need to pay only 40,000 that is the that is the admission fee and 30,000 per semester. That's it because there will be 100% tuition fee behavior. And the detail about that I will talk later in this video. So for NIT Surat Kal, similar type of fee 65, 25 and 27,000 that, that is per four. semester admission fee and hostel and mess fee. And for SCST PWD it is 25 and 27,000. So next so, if you talk about for NIT Warangal 63, 23 and 26,000. And similarly for SCST and PWD 23 and 26,000. So for next NIT Allahabad 85, 26 and 34,000 that is for uh, that is per semester admission fee and hostel and mess charge. These three type of fee I am providing you here and it, it include every type of fee whatever they will ask you at the time of admission as well. And for SCST PWD candidate you need to pay 26 and 34,000. For NIT Raurkila 75, 25 and 23,000 and similarly for SCST PWD 25 and 23,000 will be the fee that you need to pay. And if these are the official data I am providing you because I have done lots of research. So please try to watch the video till the end. Like this video, share this video so that I will get some support from your side. So next if you talk about for NIT Calicut 74, 15 and 45,000 and for SCST and PWD it is 15 and 45,000 that is 15,000 at the time of admission and per semester you need to pay 45,000 and next uh, NIT, NIT Jaipur 98, 18 and 47,000 and for SCST 18 and 47,000. And for NIT Nagpur 82, 16 and 40,000 and for SCST PWD it is 16 and 40,000. That is that first is column is for general OBC EWS student and the second is for uh, SCST and PWD content. It is everything. Uh, per semester fee, uh, hostel and mess fee and uh, the admission fee. So next so talk about the NIT crew chetra. So here is the information 88,000, 17,000 and 7,000. For OBC. general OBC and EWS student and uh, SCST and PWD content 17 and 7,000. 17,000 you need to pay at the time of admission and per semester you need to pay only 7,000. So next if you talk about for NIT Durgapur 81, 15 and 12,000 for general OBC and EWS candidate and similarly for SCST PWD 15 and 12,000. So next NIT Raipur 75, 16 and 23,000 for general OBC and EWS student and for SCST PWD 16 and 23,000. So, so next NIT Silchar 80,000, 16,000, 29,000 and for SCST PWD 16 and 29,000. For Surat 85 and 20,000 and and for SCST PWD, it, it is, is 20,000 and 29,000. That is uh, that is not printed here, but I am telling you it is 20 and 29,000. So next, if you talk about for Goa, 78, 16 and 31,000. And for SCST PWD, you can check sidewise. For NIT Jalandhar, 
here is the fee 85 15 and 44000 for uh, nit jamshedpur 85 15 and 31000 for patna 99 31 and 27000 these all fee are per semester not per year it is per semester it is every six uh, that is on every six months you need to pay this fee and the uh, the admission fee you need to pay only once thereafter you need to pay the per semester fee that is the first fee. so uh, uh, next if you talk about for uttarakhand it is 70 26 and 21000 and for hamirpur 68 5 and 22000 and for, and for sipur it is 71 and 15 and 30000 and for delhi 1 lakh 1000 21000 38000 and for ap it is 90 21 and 38000 and for puducherry it is 72 15 and 27000 so one more thing i would like to inform you here that at the time of counseling process you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number available in the description box to get the complete counseling guidance and mentorship whatever no, you will get and it's not limited to only j and j advance if you are appearing in any other interest exam such as comet k k c t uh, wbj or vit yeah, a triple e any type of counseling i will be guiding you for that as well to get the best out of your rank so if you want you can contact me through instagram or whatsapp number so that i will be guiding you for everything after discussing with you any possible with your parents from now up to your admission is done so next if you talk about for sirinagar 71 15 and 12000 for manipur 78 15 and 28000 and for mizoram 7000 15000 24000 and for sikkim it is 73 15 and 35000 and for nit arunachal it is 65 18 and 27000 and similarly uh, in the last column you can check for SCST and PWD as well and for Nagaland it is 71 and 15,000 71, 15 and 29,000 for Meghalaya 87, 14 and 32,000 and for Agartala it is 79, 14 and 31,000 so this is all about the fee structure that you need to pay per semester and the admission fee also I have discussed social MS fee also and all other fee are included so this was about the fee structure so hope you find the information useful so now let's talk about the scholarship that you will get because all those fee that i have discussed that is the regular fee so here's the information for scst pwd there is 100 percent tuition fee waiver that means you will not have to pay any type of tuition fee that's why you are paying only admission fee at the time of admission and hostel and mess fee that's it and for general ews obc candidate whose family income is less than one lakh those, those students will also be treated as scst and pwd candidate as in term of fee payment that is you will also get 100 percent tuition fee waiver scheme and how you can get all those things i will be discussing once you register with my counseling guidance and mentorship i will be discussing and i will be make you ready so that you will get all the advantage of of having the lower economy of your family so next if you talk about for general obc and ews candidate having the family income one to five lakh you will have two by three tfws scheme that is your 66 percent tuition fee will be waived off and also there are lots of scholarship available on uh, uh available on nsp that is national scholarship portal and, if, and particularly if you are from reserve category you will be having lots of scholarship and for obc ews as well you will be having that is provided by central and state government so you if you want you can go there as well but once you join the college then only you will able to go there so this was about the fee structure and a scholarship detail about the nit similar video i provided you for the iits as well you, you can check, check the link in the i button as well as the description box and i will try to provide you similar video for gfti and triple it very soon in the same channel so please try to subscribe so that you will get all the update and information in the same channel at the right time thanks